it it, it, it it got to a point where where I didn't feel like I was playing with players of my caliber. Welcome everybody to another episode of Wednesday Night Playbook. I'm your host Antoine Miller. Um, so pick and roll basketball, right? So I'm a coach that loves to attack mismatches, right? You can run the best sets, but at the end of the day, basketball is all about mismatches, right? You exploit those mismatches. That's why they have a weakness, right? So I'm all about that. I want to just exploit weaknesses, and pick and roll basketball is the best thing to do with that, you know. However, um, defenses has gotten really sophisticated in their, in their coverages, right? You see a lot of trapping the ball, you know, which is the one plus one answer. You see a lot of hedging. You see a lot of icing. You see a lot of really sophisticated defenses for pick and roll, you know, so the offense has to, has to get even more sophisticated, right? What's the counter to the counter, like I always say, right? So what I'm about to show you is a way to deal with all that, right? To deal with all that, okay? So... Just want to show you this set. Um, as you just seen in the video, I'm going to show it again at the end of the video. Just want to show you a set that will really mess any type of defensive coverage up, you know, as far as pick and roll basketball. All right, so you run and pick and roll. You run and pick and roll. You run and pick and roll, right? You kill, you're, killing the, you're killing the defense with it, right? So they try to adjust. They try to adjust with a hedge. They try to adjust with a, with a ice or what so have you, whatever, right? So you hit them with this play. It'll mess up their coverage, it's guaranteed, right? And you'll get layups off of it for sure, right? Really simple, right? So let's say you have the power forward uh, here, right? Let's say you have your best athlete right here. Try to make your best athlete this player for this play. You'll understand when I go through it, all right? So simple. I'm running pick and roll, I'm running pick and roll, all right? I'm coming up and I'm acting like I'm setting another pick and roll, right? But I'm not. The PG has the ball right now, I'm sorry. PG has the ball right now. Very simple play. Okay, the shooting guard comes up. Soon as the PG passes while that ball is in the air, slips to the basket, right? Now, it might sound like a simple play. A uh, shooting guard gives him the ball. He dunks it or lays it up, right? So it might, it might sound like a simple play, but especially at the high school level and the college level, um, kids want to run it the exact way that it's supposed to be ran, right? So if you run it in a pick and roll, what I found, in my opinion, in my um, years of coaching, that kids don't adapt on a fly well, right, with the counters, right? You, would, you, you necessarily don't want to make this a play, but um, you might have to because kids can't think. They can't process it that fast. But they should be slipping on their own, which is what I'm saying, right? But to alleviate all that, right, just make it a play. Just make it a play. And, you know, and, and this looks like a simple play, but why it works, and I'll show you, and I'll show you a... Uh, I'll show you on video, like as I did before and after this, um, because of the coverages, right? So let's say the guy that's guarding this PF, right, that's coming up, right? He'll think that this point guard is coming off, like he's always done, right? So the guy that's covering the PF, the PF comes up, the guy that's covering him, he'll hedge, you know, and hedge is literally cutting this, cutting all this off, right? Because You've been running pick and roll. You've been running pick and roll. The PG comes off. The PG comes off. He's killing them on it, right? So this guy will hedge or he'll ice, which is another coverage, right? But they'll hedge or they'll just double the basketball, right? So what happens if they, let's say they both trap the basketball. You got the guy that's guarding the PG. You got the guy that's guarding the PF. They both trap the basketball. Well, if he come up and he don't set it, bam, you put the whole rest of the coverage in a bad spot, right? And it's a quick thing. It got to be a timing of this, right? PG pass a shooting guard, shooting guard pass the power forward. Really quick. All right, really simple thing that can destroy your coverage, a defensive man-to-man -man coverage. All right, destroy it. <laughs> 